Usually you saw the video yesterday where I showed you guys how to break down and prepare the smoked terrain fillets for making the choker. And that's what we're doing today. I knew I grew up knowing this as just a smoke heron. I know some people call it smoke heron choker or smoke heron choker. I shared a recipe a few years ago with my father. Um, I used to cook quite a bit on, on camera here with my mom and dad. We haven't done so in a while. I'm hoping to get back to doing that soon. But in that version, we used entire the entire smoked herring and we broke it down and he roasted it and, and we went through the different steps. In this version here, we are using the fillets that I showed you guys how to do yesterday, which has already been prepared here. So we've got the fillets, I've got some scotch bonnet pepper and the thing about a scotch bonnet pepper, I cut it up into large pieces. This is a large one. I like it spicy, but you don't have to. You can obviously cut back. You don't need to, to use the seeds or the white membrane on the seeds. That's where most of the heat is gonna be. But again, totally optional, yeah? I've got a, a large scallion. Some of you call it green onion, spring onion. In, in Trinidad and Tobago, we call it sive. I've got two Roma tomatoes diced up. I tried to remove most of the seeds. It hardly had any seeds anyways. I've got a thinly sliced onion, and that's a medium onion. I like a lot of onion in here. Some parsley. We're gonna need some black pepper, and I have two cloves of garlic. Additionally, we'll need about four tablespoons of olive oil to pull it all together. We'll start with the scallion. Got that scotch bonnet pepper. And again, totally optional, but if you like heat, and, and you know, I like the heat in this. It just adds that little, mmm, makes it worth it my while. Then the tomato. And what I did, I diced it, as I mentioned there, and I tried my best to remove most of the seeds. Fresh brown black pepper. And I want a couple cloves of crushed garlic in there. I like to crush the garlic in my little press because I get nice little pieces. If you like sliced garlic or if you want to crush it even finer, you can do that as well. Before we add the onion, I like to mix everything. And you know, one of the reasons I like cutting the pepper into big pieces because the pepper is red, the tomato is red. By cutting it this way, people can identify whoever is eating whether they want to chew into that pepper or not and they can set it aside, you know what I mean? But what we want to do is give this a good mix. We're not adding any salt to this because that smoked herring will have a sort of a salty element to it. But at the end, after you add the garlic, you, I mean, after you add the onion and we temper it with the hot oil or what we call chunky, you can go in and taste it and add a bit of salt if you wanted to. But yo, just look at that niceness now. It's then time to add the thinly sliced onion and we want that spread on the top here and the reason I like doing it and if you've watched any other of my got some, some guys trying to escape there my counter is clean, don't fret what I like doing is pouring the hot oil directly onto the onion by doing so it gently cooks the, the onion so you don't get it raw yo, nobody ain't trying yo, nobody ain't want karate bread all right, anyhow, we're gonna pour that oil on there. It's gonna gently cook the onion, and what it's gonna do is pick up some of the onion flavor and, and you know, disperse it throughout. I'm making it nice, making it nice. And here we go, my oil is nice and hot, and we're just gonna pour that directly onto the onion, like so. And that step there is called chunky. All we're gonna do now is give that a good mix, and yo, we are done. <laughs> Sup, soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I'm really trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Iri, Iri. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you all in the kitchen with me. Um, the full printable recipe will be available over at CaribbeanPod.com, but just look at that brilliant niceness, you know. And I have some boiled white yam there that I'm going to knock down with this. Dashing cassava, dumpling, whatever you want. Dal and rice. Yo, dal and rice and this year, proper meal. You can't beat it. Anyhow, all those things I spoke about, those recipes like dal and rice and head over to CaribbeanPod.com, but just look at that now. Just look. All you following me?